Okay, in today's Health Watch, um, the FDA is concerned about robotic surgery. Uh, there have been reports, uh, increasing reports of essentially uh, these robots. Uh, they're used, they've been used for a long time now. Um, all kinds of mistakes. Yeah, they're used in heart and prostate cancer operations and uh, the FDA is looking into safety concerns. Um, the, the makers of the Da Vinci robot uh, told Fox 5, quote, Intuitive's highest priority is and always has been to provide patient benefit creating products that in a surgeon's hands are safe, effective, and minimally invasive. Joining us right now, Fox News contributor Dr. David Samadi, who's also a robotic prostate surgeon at Mount Sinai Hospital. Nice to have you back Good on morning. Good Day, New York. Nice to see you. So what do you think about this? Is, is robotic surgery safe? Well, I think this is not necessarily a bad news, and I'm glad that the FDA is looking into this. We have talked about robotic surgery many times times Rosanna before it's been around for 12 years so this is not something new in the hands of experienced surgeons the technology makes sense and that results in better outcome if the surgeon is not experienced because we know the robot doesn't do the surgery by itself there's a surgeon behind it so when you choose robotic surgery you want to make sure you choose the right surgeon how many cases have they done you know do they have a team do they do the operation themselves or they go from room to room and they're not even present there's a lot that goes into it that the patient need to look into it rather than just I'm going to have a robotic surgery so what? I think it's a safe technology if you know what to do and I think the hospitals a lot of them are getting excited they say well this makes sense let's just bring more surgeons and it's a money maker right it, it look there's a lot of money to be made in this field but the, you know you're saving people's lives you're t curing them from cancer but you have to have a program you have to have the right surgeons and make sure that there's a good credential committee that would sign off on these people you can't just go for the weekend and come back and claim you're a robotic surgeon. So it's really up to the patients to do the due diligence and find out who their surgeons are. Now what kind of problems are we seeing? Uh, what, what kind of mishaps? If you've not done enough and the enough number of cases is a big definition. How many cases is enough? In our opinion there are a lot of published study that if you've not done 500 cases or more you're not at the point to do this sufficiently. Now a lot of gynecologists are coming on board, a lot of new prostate surgeons are coming on board. So some, the robot has malfunctioned, Greg, in, 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 to your question, and also it may take a long, many hours to do this. When I do robotic prostate surgery, it really takes about an hour. We've, you know this already. Yes. They go home the next day, there's no blood loss. If you're gonna take the same procedure and make it into a four or five hours of anesthesia, then the outcome is not going to be good. So the technology is safe. You just have to know how to use it. You need to have a team, et cetera, and they do quite well. I know a lot of people have gone to Dr. Samadhi and have raved about um, Thank his, you. his surgical prowess uh, and, and the robotics and, and that, that go along with it. And, and if nothing Thank but you. compliments. But, you know, I think it's kind of a catch-22. You, you talk about these surgeons having to have, what, 500 surgeries under their belt. Well, how do you get 500 surgeries under your belt if you don't actually do uh -huh. this? That's a million-dollar question. Surgery. That's a good point. So I'm we, with you. I okay. think we, we train. We train people, not necessarily in the operating room with this fancy technology, but there are simulation labs, there are pig labs, there are animal labs that we oh. teach them, and that's how it works. A lot of this complication is done by surgeons, and these were the first or second case that they were doing. So you cannot possibly, and the hospitals are responsible to make sure that these cases are done safely. If you keep the patient in the operating room for eight hours, that's not acceptable. All right, doctor, we'd like a second opinion. We have a picture here. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Dr. Robert Mitchler, and he was the first to perform Form robotically assisted heart bypass surgery in the U.S. at Ohio State University back in 1999. Wow. Uh, there he is. Uh, he says, by the way, it's uh, not the robot's fault. It's doctors who don't have enough practice, by the way. That's right. And His daughter, Sarah, <laughs> works here. Sarah Sarah works here, and she, she mentioned the same thing that you said, which well, is basically it's, it boils down to experience. Let me just speak. Uh, uh, Dr. Mitchell is a good colleague of mine. He's a uh, very skilled surgeon, and again, in the hands of experienced surgeon, this robot is, is a magic. You can see better, it magnifies, you can get into areas where you can't. Rosanna, one of the things that the problems that we have is the doctors are not even well trained in the traditional surgery, so now you have this fancy technology that could really hurt the patient. So, word of caution, speak to your doctor, always get a second opinion and find the best person for your surgery. Are doctors worried about this? But the FDA, when the FDA investigates, you know, it, it, it takes on a kind of a certain tenor. 
No, you know what, Greg? It's okay. It's, yeah. a, it's about our patient. It's not about the technology. Let FDA do the investigation and, and clear the air. And I think Intuitive is very supportive of this. It's fine. Good stuff. Nice to see you guys. Dr. Dr. Robert Samadhi, always you. a wealth of information. Thank you. I feel you like you're much. in good hands with him. Here. Yes, he has a very pleasing demeanor. You guys are very kind, and I'm glad that the show is doing amazingly oh. well. You have a lot of fan out there. Oh, Congratulations. Wow. Oh, doctor. Nice to see you guys.